respawn. Hats off to you. You see, what respawn is doing is something that I hope other developers look at and they take what respawn is doing and they take it to heart. Because tomorrow, on October the 23rd, a game that was released on March 11th is getting new content added to it. Not charging for it. A new update that's going to add brand new content. Brand new content. You're going to have new game modes. You're going to have completely reworked AI. You're going to have new little flares of, you know, voices and etc. Stuff like that to go for your titans and everything. But you're getting a completely brand new game mode. Something that you haven't seen before in Titanfall. You see, when Titanfall was originally announced, they made it pretty clear that they're not going to focus on a campaign. And probably one of the biggest drawbacks for Titanfall was a lot of people said there wasn't a campaign. And if this was a campaign, this campaign sucks. And I think that they listened a little bit. I'm pretty sure in Titanfall 2 we might see a little bit more of an intricate campaign for the game. Now, granted, they didn't add a campaign to this, but they added what is called Frontier Defense. A co-op mode. It's kind of like a horde mode that you would get in Gears of War, only this is a first-person shooter. You still get your turrets, so you get to go put it wherever you want to, and you have the IMC or whatever it is that they're coming at you, and they're trying to take out, I believe, hold on, what is it called? It's called a harvester. A harvester that you're protecting with you and three other of your buddies or some random folk that you want to go play with. But something completely new that you haven't seen. The thing that I like about this is it's brand new, it doesn't charge you for it, and it is something that gamers appreciate and want. I almost guarantee you that when this releases tomorrow, they're going to see a spike in people playing Titanfall again. Do they think that Titanfall is going to be the end all for until they get to Titanfall 2? No, I think they realize that. But they also realize that they want to keep on the gamer's good side. Especially nowadays, with the whole Gamergate issue, the resolution gate, everything's under a microscope. This is awesome. And I particularly hope that somebody like Bungie pays attention, close attention, to what Respawn Entertainment is doing. Because Destiny is lacking some new content. Something that they pretty much they promised because it was supposed to be like an MMO. I've played many MMOs and a lot of them you don't go a couple weeks without having something brand new added to the game. It might be something small but something brand new. Not paint it up to pretend like it's brand new. I'm pretty sure even Defiance <laughs> which was kind of like a washed out MMO had new content that came in every week now granted it was you know aesthetic content but it was something new new helmets that'd be nice new chest piece that'd be nice new gear that'd be really nice I'm tired of running around on destiny looking like everybody else oh you beat the raid me too you know how I can tell you're wearing raid gear sad. You want an exotic weapon? You want an exotic gear? Go to Zer or go do a bounty. Same stuff that everybody else is getting. It's pretty sad. So getting back to this, um, they're doing three brand new game modes. You have Frontier Defense, you have Marked for Pro, or I'm sorry, Marked for Death Pro, and then you have Deadly Ground. Frontier Defense is kind of like your Horde mode where you go, you protect your Harvester and everything. Um, your Mark for Death Pro is pretty much just like the old game mode, only this time it seems like that whenever somebody kills you, you stay dead until you kill the guy who's marked on the other team or they kill your individual. So pretty much you're dead until then. I think that that's pretty neat. And from what I heard, they're doing the same thing with uh, Capture the Flag, or they're at least exploring something with that. And then the last game mode is called Deadly Ground. Their joke of it was that the ground was lava, and while it's literally not lava, it pretty much it has the little smoke mist that you get whenever somebody jumps on the back of your Titan, and it's sitting on the ground everywhere throughout the map. 
so it forces you to stay off the ground and if you do get down there you got to get up pretty quickly otherwise you're pretty much out of there but what do you guys think about titanfall adding a lot of new things to it are you excited to see titanfall specifically or do you think that this is something that a lot of game developers should start looking into and start i'm not saying giving away free content but giving away free content whenever it's needed uh, let me know in the comment section below i do thank you all for checking me out here on my channel you could definitely catch out my uh i'm sorry you can definitely check out my blog uh, which i did about this whole respawn update and everything that's at playbackgaming.com the link will be down in the description um, i thank you all once again and happy gaming